was een uitstekende hospitaal, goeie gezondheidszorg. Ons het van die beste specialisten gehad, internisse, en daai jare was daar nog nie een privaat hospitaal in Kempton Park nie. Ek is Peter Potgieter, was een administratieve klerk by die hospitaal. Ek het daar begin in 1993 en die hospitaal het toe gemaakt in 1998. Let's it up again. And then he's like, no, let's go follow the sound. Yeah, <laughs> as one does. <laughs> so we're walking, I think it was like in the middle, and you see this door just open, and then it slammed closed. Bah, and it did oh, it again. Yeah. And then we couldn't and then open it. And again. So we walked right next to the door, and he's like, kick it. And I take a step back, and I literally fucking kick this thing like this. Didn't even budge. So like, okay, no, it's fine. We walk past it. Mm-hmm. Open the again, yeah. Closed again. Yeah. Open and closed. Okay, us. That's one of the creepiest ones. The basement ones. was also fucked. Yeah, yeah what you saw. <laughs> My personal opinion is, this is the security that the geld scheme or bedrijf daar. The last year was I the only one that there was. And I had nothing to say. I don't know if you guys have on this. The main building, if you look all over the floor, there's files with everybody's names. Yeah, yeah. I found my cousin's what? file. What? <laughs> really? Yeah, which she broke on. She got rushed here. And it was on the sense building. And second or third floor, the file room. Ons was verantwoordig geweest for the pak of all the layers. Um, Toe was daar op een stadium dat die departement het sy oor geplaas het na een algemene stoor area. Toe het hulle gesê, um, hulle kry nie een groot genoeg archief area, waarin daar die laar gestoor kon word. My name is Dr. Dumelo Liu. I am a pediatrician working in both public and private sectors in Mafeking. Well, in our South African setting for a number of reasons, I, I would suspect one of them being financial. We don't have enough money in our health system to be able to renovate um, some of the existing facilities um, so that they are at a, a good level. Have you heard about the reason for the hospital's closure? What I heard was everyone just suddenly one day got up and left. Like there wasn't an explanation. That's what I heard. It's the story that I heard as well. Yeah, everyone just got up one day and left. No one knows why. Everyone just left. Hierdie was absoluut een politieke besluit. Um, dit was net na die verkiesing in 94. En dit was so vinnig. Um, hulle het net op een dag ingestap, gesê al die personeel moet in die residentiese um, saal by mekaar kom. Ons is soen toe en hulle het net vir ons gesê, um, dit is een politieke besluit, Kempton Park Hospital mag toe, want hy bedien nie die groter gemeenskap van Kempton Park nie en dit was dit. Moving forward, what do you think should happen to the hospital? I read keep it as yeah, it is. I like it like this, eh? Yeah. It's, it's, it's on cool to explore. Some events it turns into an airsoft field. And people yeah. come out here and play airsoft. For us, we just like coming to explore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, no, I say keep it. Yeah. yeah. I think they need to slow Want op hierdie storm is hy a uitgave vir die departement. Hy is onbruikbaar. Um, ek dink hy is een seer oog vir die inwoners van Kempton Park. Wel in 2006 het hulle ook het hulle studie eindelijk gedoen. Om te sê, dit gaan goedkoper wees om die hospitaal plat te slaan en te herbou, as om te probeer renovate. So, perhaps a place that is a primary healthcare facility to accommodate everybody with a special area designated or yeah, given to pediatrics. And I think um, it would be nice to obviously open up a facility like that because it's quite a need in our country.